Okay. The Empress in reverse, the Two of Cups, and the Eight of Pentacles. <clears throat> Funny, Empress in Reverse. I had a dream last night that I had a baby. It came out blue, but then ended up being fine. Not sure what that was about. So the Empress in Reverse, where in your life, Virgo? I feel like this energy, and I'll pull a clarifying card on these cards as well. Does something need more time to cook, more gestation period? What is not ready to be put forth into the world in a complete way? It's still, you're still working on this area of life. With the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, I feel like you've been working at it. However, there's been feel like it's outside resistance, like obstacles that are getting in your way of you accomplishing what you want to in the time frame that you orig originally set out to get all of these products or services or ideas out into the world. And I feel like there's a stalling or just the timeline is different than what you had planned for. And okay. I'll get to the Two of Cups. So the High Priestess. Ha. Huh. The Six of Swords. And the Death card in reverse. So, with the Death card in reverse, and the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, this is pointing to Virgo a part of your life, and I feel like it's a practical sense because of the, the pentacles here, like something physical, something tangible that is needing to be released in order to make space for something new, bigger, better to come in, and you're resisting it with the death card in reverse. There's some type of resistance and holding on to either a pattern, a way of thinking, a righteousness that you're right and you know the best and it's my way or the highway type of thinking and attitude that just isn't giving you the results that would ultimately make you feel happy and content, Virgo. So moving into March and out of February, these energies, I feel like you are being pulled in a new direction and it's not necessarily one of your decisions or ideas or somebody, this is you, somebody's taking you here because they know better. And I don't even feel necessarily like this is a true, true physical person in a sense, that it's more of the flow and the way and the Tao and your karma is taking you more into a place of being open-hearted to receive what is right in front of you, to keep you focused more on your heart center instead of your head center. And I know Virgos are ruled by Mercury, and we are a very, I want to say mental sign, but not like in a crazy way. <clears throat> but Mercury is very fast thinking and we can get wrapped up in our particular way of thinking and thinking that we know the best. And this is how it's supposed to be. Psh, no, 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 no. Because with the high priestess on the empress in reverse, she, they, she, the she's, are telling you that it is your divine guidance that you need to rely on more and more. Coming out of February, 
I feel like the energies of February have given you the fodder to practice that with just the circumstances that you've found yourself facing and having to deal with and problem solve and the resistance that you may have been meeting in whatever area of your life this is resonating for you, Virgo, in a practical sense. Real 3D worlds that you're coming to find that the easiest path for you to be taking in all of your relationships, in all of your projects, in all of your goals, desires, endeavors, is the one of harmony, is the one that's going to give you the least resistance. And your angels and guides in the universe has your back in this way. And that's what eventually works. It's just, it comes down to being the fact of the matter. And we so can resist that Virgo. However, moving into March, I feel like these are the energies that you are, you are facing and coming up against. And honestly, I feel like the high priestess energy is trumping the death on the eight of pentacles because this, this again, it, it feels like the circumstance that you've been struggling with or meeting frustration and not accomplishing what you think you should be in this area of life. But it's happening for a reason, ultimately. It's showing you, it's giving you this circumstance so that you can slow down, drop from your head into your heart center and take one moment at a time. And it's not necessarily the plan that you go about thinking that what you're going to accomplish in that day, it's, it may change. And what you think is going to be done sometimes doesn't get done. And the process of being okay with that and being at peace with that ultimately is a large part of Virgo's journey. Coming to understand that that's how life actually works in a real practical sense. So I will flip, oh, the three, three of hearts, the five of wands, and the king of pentacles. Oh, that made me sad. Why, Virgo, why, what's the heartbreak over? Oh, the matriarch, I'm just gonna go ahead and flip these. Well, Interesting, the Divine Lovers cards and the Eight of Wands. Okay. Okay, let's start here. So the Matriarch. By the way, I'm using the Smithwaite tarot card deck, the Centennial Edition. And there's two extra cards in here and they just came out. I was just saying in one of my last readings how the Divine Lovers card, the Matriarch card and the Divine Lovers card are both the two extra artwork cards um, that they include in this deck to make it an 80 card deck instead of the traditional 78. And they both, I consider them major arcana cards. They're big energies. And so let's see. So the matriarch card, the card of home and nurturing and feeling nourished by the people on, in your homestead, on the home front, in your everyday environment. I feel like with the, the three of swords stabbing through the heart, such it's even a painful card to look at. I don't, I'll be honest, I don't like this card. It's a card of heartbreak and disappointment and things ending in sadness. So on the home front, there there's two full moons in March. There's what's called the worm moon, 
on March 1st or March 2nd, depending on where in the world you live, Virgo. And also when I think it's on the 31st, I want to say, which is a pink moon. So there's a lot of full moon energy going on this month. I'm just getting quiet because I'm listening. So what I got was this. How you think, how you think the swords, your home life should look is very different than what the universe wants it to look like. And we are getting, we're moving through this grieving process of letting go. And this could be an old past energy, like your childhood even, Virgo, and how you were raised and taking a look at the nurturing, the nourishment, the love support that you did or didn't get from your family life, from your home base growing up and how they supported your endeavors or how they discouraged your endeavors. And maybe what I just got, the message I just got was your ultimate truth of what you were born into this lifetime to do was both supported by the family that you chose to be born into and not in a way. And the way that they didn't support you is part of the divine plan. Because that pain, that suffering, that disappointment, that love in the way that you particularly needed to feel safe and secure coming from your family, whatever situation that was or is, Virgo, was exactly how it needed to be for you to move into the sense and the desire and the yearning for the divine love card, the reuniting with the ultimate truth in life, which is God's love. And ultimately that translates into self-love because we are all a flame of the bigger flame of God. We have that spark of life. We are life. And life is God. So this pain and suffering is the pathway to you, Virgo, discovering your true home, your ultimate peace of mind, your ultimate serenity. This card is trumping the five of wands. It's on top of it. And the five of wands is just petty arguments. It's old conversations. It's old way of thinking. It's old fights and squabbles and disagreements that in March, and I feel like this is happening towards the middle of the month, you're not entertaining these people, conversations, situations, circumstances, jobs, career opportunities anymore if you don't feel like they ultimately have your back or, or are supporting you in a true, authentic, loving way. You're just not having it anymore. And your experience from the past that you are, that's coming up for review in March for some reason or another. For fine, I feel like this is another stage of your healing, Virgo. And I'm getting, I think this came through for Aries, that you're in your dream state before you go to bed. Say a prayer to your guides and angels that you will remember your dreams and to bring you messages that you need to hear and understand for your highest and best good as you're falling asleep. Repeat that a few times. And in the morning, become aware and pay attention to 
where you went and your dream state and what is coming through. And if you're not a big dreamer, it helps to say this out loud in, in a prayer form as you're falling asleep, that you will remember your dreams. Say it about three times, at least three times, that you will remember your dreams and that they will carry important, profound messages for you to deliver you the information, because this is a card of information and communication, but I feel like it's it's sort of behind the scenes, and that's why I'm getting in the in your dreams, in not with the King of Pentacles in like a tangible way, but he's upside down. Like when you're lying down, like he's more lying down like this. When you're when he's lying down, these messengers are going to be coming in, Virgo. And pay attention. Get a journal, have it by your bedside with a pen ready to go for the morning. And take, it doesn't need to be a long period of time, a few minutes to free write. And these messages that will be coming through your dream state, I feel will be very healing. And the precise messages that throughout the month of March will take you to a place to this place. Divinely guided and held in the arms of the beloved, your true beloved, your own beloved, in union with the beloved. And it's going to get you to a place. This is such a higher elevated card than, than I feel like this is lowly energies like of the pettiness and I want to say filth and dirty and stank and it's not pure. Virgos are the sign of Virgo is all about purity and distilling experiences to their purest form. And I feel like Virgos are, are born into this, this particular zodiac sign that's coming up again. We chose our birth families to have these experiences, even if they were painful, to propel us on this inner journey of seeking what only truly matters, authentically, divinely, serenely, peacefully, that will bring us the ultimate joy in life. And removing that which taints your experience of that. And I, I think that's why I was picking up just the dirtiness and the filth and just the impurities. Like, so we're taking away the impurities in different areas of our lives so that we can feel like we are experiencing the most pure form of each and every moment that we encounter. And that's where the divine bliss lies. It's not with any other particular person. It's not with a different family. It's not with a different familial experience. You're coming to find an inner peace with whatever happened, whoever said what, whatever communication that was made or not made, whatever love that was shown or withheld, you're coming to find and reside in the peace that all was as it should have been and is as it should be. That's the message. Okay. Whew. That is a big one. So I'll move down here, the Magician in Reverse. Yeah, the Ten of Swords in Reverse and the Strength. Well, well, well. I'm merely getting on the Magician that you can't do it alone. With him in Reverse, it's 
the ego doubting his own abilities because you're trying to do it alone without the inspiration or the divine guidance or trusting in the universal process. And uh, yeah, I can see why you would feel that way if you're approaching your life from that vantage point. It's, it's a disempowering conversation, Virgo, to feel like you are alone and you have to do it alone and force this and force that. Um, he's pointing up and down as above, so below. And when it's flipped over, he's not trusting that he has, that the universe has his back. He sort of feels left out in the cold a little bit. It reminds me of the five of pentacles in reverse. The queen of cups. Okay. Star. The knight of cups. Okay. So moving out of March, towards the end of March, Virgo. Let yourself cry if you need to cry. Don't hold it in anymore. You need to get it out of your body so that it doesn't get stuck and lodged in some physical form of dis-ease in your body. So let yourself experience and express the emotions that want to come up and out. I feel like that's your process, Virgo. And has everything to do with the fleshing out of the past. Oh, that's right. Mercury is going retrograde. So that makes total sense of how your ruling planet is about to start going backwards. So for most of March, it's going to be in its shadow period. And it's Mercury retrograde, as you probably already know, is the time to reevaluate and re-examine. It's all the re's. Redo, replan, reassess. I feel like this is the process that Virgos are going through this month. And it's at a very core, deep, fundamental level. And it's useful. I'm encouraging you to keep at it, to keep moving through this heartbreak, this heartache, in order to get to this ultimate success. Because right underneath it, it's another major arcana card with the star on top of the Ten of Swords in reverse. So this finale, this feeling of one last sword in my heart, I couldn't even bear to take one more. You're done. You're cooked and fried. It's over. You're, you're having done it and moved through. This heartbreak with the Ten of Swords in reverse. And a new dawn is arising. And, and from these trials and tribulations, Virgo, that you're facing through the month of March, you're regaining your strength back here. You're taming and you're bringing to light the inner beast. That's what I'm getting. It's the inner beast, these inner beliefs that we adopted from a very young age that have been ruling our life unbeknownst to us in sometimes not so positive ways that can result in self-sabotage. They can result in dysfunctional ways of relating to other people in situations of feeling like you have to be defensive when it's just based on a past experience and it's a total overreaction for what's happening in reality in the moment. And you're coming to a place, Virgo, of 
bringing those things to light. And again, the messages will be coming through your dreams, so do pay attention to those. And turning on its head the way that you have approached situations from an emotional standpoint. I feel like you're going to be putting to rest some old, outmoded, outdated emotional reactions to the outer worlds. 